what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel with the exciting brand new releases that everybody's starting to get from the iconic replicas slash awesome diecast guys down in florida here and we're bringing out the kme engines that they just produced so myself i just bought a bunch of blank ones because i plan on kit bashing them so i know that the diecast emporium gentlemen did a video on these um, and just went over a few things and this video that I'm gonna do is not copying him really it's just to go over the kit bash functionality of these trucks and what you can do to do some customization and go over all the different parts and how the parts are added so I got four of them in my first order and I'm gonna be getting some more here as well so I'm just gonna turn the turntable on here So overall, this truck has some amazing detail. Um, one of them being the antenna up on the top. And uh, it also comes with a, uh, a couple sheets of custom uh, decals to number these trucks however you want. And go from there. You can do numbering on the top and on the doors or add different decals. You can also go over to Rich at End Quarters and look, get his LA County fire department sheet and customize it even further with these trucks and the detail will just keep going on and on the fact that um awesome die cast and the group there decided to take this on as a possible new venture in 164 scale is amazing because we haven't had anything since code 3 collectibles went out of business so and i'm sure even if code 3 collectibles was still around they would have bought they would have bought these trucks here and you know eventually made them themselves and got the licensing to go with their other la county vehicles that they have so this is perfect um and i'm just going to go over to my right here so this is how it comes here iconic five alarm replicas 164 scale model it comes in a nice little case here in sleeve it's got a picture of uh Engine 31 out in LA County there. And then you got a little bit of blurb here on the uh, writing of LA County in the model. So overall, there's some details here that we're gonna talk about from a kit basher's point of view. I would say a good 60% of this truck is die cast metal so like the ac unit is die cast the cab is die cast um, the body is die cast the shovel on top is die cast metal the whole back except for this little attachment here that goes up to the hose bed to simulate a little hose this is plastic the rest of this backing is all uh, die cast metal this side here ladders plastic uh, then you got your hard suction hoses, those are plastic. And the pump panel is all plastic as well. Um, and then this little piece up here, the border, this is plastic, removable. Same with the antenna. And then the lights are removable. Scene lights are also removable here. And then you got your window glass and everything. Front bumper is removable. Front lighting is removable. The one thing that I wish that was removable was the grill because the grill detail on this truck is great. It looks awesome. Um, the next best thing that you could do from a kit bash standpoint is to grind it all off because it is um, hard casted onto the metal casting of the cab and sand it away and add one of Rich's uh, photo etched metal grills on there, which could also add for extra detail as well. Um, maybe we'll try that with one of the many trucks that we have or one of my other fellow kit bashers might do that as well. The windows and interior and everything also comes out, which is perfect. It's, um, you know, really good to take it apart um, and be able to take the windows out and stuff. Um, I actually have one taken apart and we'll go over that here in just a minute. Uh, we're going to go over some other details. So as you can see there, the markings for LA County are nice and crisp you don't have any bleeding or anything same as the stripes they're good as well um the one thing that i realized and i'm sure everybody realized this um 
I don't believe Diecast Emporium mentioned it, but uh, when we look at the body there, there was some kind of misprint there and they did a little silver imprint over the yellow stripe of the model. So if you're into kit bashing and stuff, you can remove that or put new striping on and stuff um, and get rid of that. And we're gonna do a little bit here on this video and just see what kind of nail polish remover works best for these die cast uh, decals and tempos and stuff on the Iconic Replicas engine here. Um, the other detail uh, that you can see here as well is the hose bed um, for the pump panel area with its uh, pre-connects here. Um, obviously that little double stack there, that's part of the hose bed. They didn't paint that or anything. And it's all fully casted together, which is okay. Um, if kit bashers want, they can go and cut that all out and grind it all out and then put in 3D printed ones or rubber lines or elastics or whatever for that extra detail. Not too bad. It still looks great. Same with the back as well. You know, it's metal and stuff, but you can add on different, um, different hoses and attachments and stuff there as well. Um, these pre-connects and discharges and intakes, they're, they can all come off the panel. Same with this guy. This can just pop off the panel there. The shovels and, sorry, the shovel and the, um, the attic tool here or roof punch tool, whatever you want to call it here. Um, those are plastic. And then like a sore thumb, the shovel is not plastic. It is full on die cast, thick metal attached to the hose bed. Not a problem, it still looks amazing. Um, this little add-on nozzle here for the deck gun, that can come off as well, as I'm pretty sure that's what that is for there. It looks like a nozzle to me, to switch this out if you wanted to. But overall, like this model is amazing. Like we haven't had anything like this in quite a long time. And we keep hearing about Greenlight saying that they're gonna bring out fire trucks and so forth. But um, I hope Iconic Replica is an awesome die cast, those guys. Um, keep coming out with these like these things are amazing and i'm sure they'll sell out we can only hope that they'll sell out uh the other one thing that i realized here is that there's like no rear lights but they painted it silver to simulate that so you know if you go over to in quarters or your parts bin as a kit basher and add some lights on you'll be good to go there so overall i'm pretty happy with this truck um obviously you can do some different roof roof added pieces on there you can remove roof pieces grind them away and make whichever year or era of la county cami engine you'd want nice little side steps here and then um, the bottom which is nice nice great detail here there's screws uh one at the one at the back one in the middle there and then it just pops off which is really nice the other thing that I really like here, and I've been to LA County and I've done ride-alongs, is the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe detail on this is quite remarkable, and it looks exactly like the real ones on the truck there for the whole, uh, um, the version of the um, Niedermans that just uh, magnet right onto the pipe there. It looks exactly like the real one on the truck, which looks awesome. Tires are rubber, and they pop right off the rims. Very nice detail there. I'm glad it's not just one solid plastic tire and rim piece, which is perfect. And um, yeah, overall, this truck is awesome. I can't wait to start uh, messing around with them a little more. Now we're gonna go take you over to the piece that's been stripped, stripped all apart. So here we go. This is the little work area here that I had. Here's a nice little case here that it came with. That's where that one goes. We're going to go over all the parts in here. Got them all labeled. Here's the engine cab. I should say everything is taken off of here now and ready to be stripped. So where the light bars are, the light, bar, the light bar, sorry, English is not my first language today. Um, they are molded around the die cast metal. So you got to be really careful when you're popping them off. Otherwise, you might snap the ends off or anything like that and we'll have to see what happens from there. Um, everything else, like the scene lights and stuff, like I talked about the go lights here, 
they pop off there. Windows all pop off and lights and grill and everything like that. It stays on there. The little back windows come out. Here's the body. Everything's all stripped off the body there, just down to the die cast metal here. Great detail as well. And there's the back with some of the back pieces removed. I've gone through here, obviously labeled everything, the different pieces. Here's the ladder off of the truck with the hard suction lines. Got the driver's side parts here. So that's got like the windshield, the front lights, the rear window, the scene light here. And then, so what I did was, cause I was investigating and playing around with this is I chopped it in half with a uh, little Dremel saw because I was just curious how it was attached together. So for anybody that wants to take these apart, you have to be careful because in the wheel wells here, we'll just get my handy dandy little wheel popper tool out here. In the wheel wells, there are hidden screws so that uh, people like myself, maybe, and other modelers can't take them apart. So, sorry about that. So in here, there will be two little Phillips screws on either side that attach the whole chassis together. Now I know for the next ones, or for that one when I take it apart, that that's how that is. But that's okay. Here's your pump panel. The uh, pump panel all on one there. Obviously you can see there, you can just pop out those tools. It's screwed together. They're all, pieces are all screwed together. Pretty nice detail there. Um, you know, you can even go ahead and add a Code 3 164th pump panel if you wanted to, but um, overall I'm pretty happy with that one there. Here's that uh, roof attachment we talked about here. It just pops on there. Obviously it comes off nice and easy. Throw it in your parts bin. Here's the mirrors. The mirrors came off really easy as well. And here's the number sheet that I was talking about as well at the start of the video. So that you can go and add on whichever numbers you want um, and go from there. There's, I think, two sheets in there, two or three sheets. Um, obviously, we all know LA County does different graphics for different stations and battalions and apparatus. So, you know, these are like the basic generic ones, which are perfect. So that'll be good for anybody that just wants to do a quick little uh, decal job here and make their own engine. Um, if you're, you know, new to kit bashing or just getting started off and, you know, not sure on how to do custom decals or where to get them and so forth. The model comes with it, which is perfect. Um, here's the shovel. And the little roof tool here that comes separately. So, you know, even if you didn't want them on this truck, you can add them onto another truck. The possibilities are endless with this truck. Here's the front bumper. Very nice detail there. It's even got the hand line in the front bumper. And, like, you know, even for molding and resin casting and different things, like, that is a well-done nozzle for the hand line there for the pre-connect. I'm pretty happy with that. That looks awesome. You know, paint it up, do a little detail, paint it black, and so forth there. Uh, here's some cab screws here that I have. So they're all screwed together for the most part. I will do my best to kind of show you how it's laid out here. And I'll just flip everything upside down. So this is how it kind of looks here. You'll have two screws here. Pop the cab off. Two screws here. One, two, and three. And all the pieces come apart there, and then you can start plucking away. The one thing that I did realize is while taking out the windows of this truck, they're very, very finicky, and you got to be careful. Um, here's one in the bag. This is the driver's side one there. So it's a three-piece one there, and you can just pop it out there, lift it up off of the um, uh, roof little hold um, pieces there that it has. Pop it off. But you got to be careful because it may or may not crack in the middle there. And then you got separated windows, but you can still glue them back on. Not a problem. Overall, this model by Awesome Diecast is great. Even if you want to start kit bashing and learning how to take things apart, these are great little models. Um, they got them on their website for $99.95. So 
I'm in Canada here, so that was roughly like $120 a pop kind of thing, maybe roughly, or around 100 bucks. So we'll just call it 100 bucks even there. And you got an awesome model that has tons of pieces that can come apart and or you can just put numbers on it and leave it and leave it in the case like we've gone over here but uh anyways go over to iconic replicas and go purchase yourself one you can get blank ones like i got um they also have like engines 172 i think 8 16 and a few other ones on there so you can go find them if you wanted one that already had a number on there um for your station and do that the last test we're going to do here is we're going to take the body over so that we don't mess with the cab and we'll just grab some pieces here stand by and we're going to test the usage of the nail polish so i got regular walmart branded stuff and then i got stuff that's um the uh 100% pure acetone. Okay. Here we go. So this is the Equate one that you can get at a Walmart or any other store there. It's about 80% thing. Um, okay. Let me see how we do here with this. Try and get it to do its thing there. And there we go. So this one is obviously not going to eat away at the paint. And it comes off very nicely. Look at that. So obviously from first glance with these tempos and taking them off, I am definitely going to use the um, non-100% one. Because this 100% one uh, usually will go and uh, eat away at the paint, soften the paint, and easier to chip it away. So now that I know that the, the, the tempos will come off with this, we'll use this stuff so we use the lower than 100% um, nail polish remover acetone from your local store wherever you're located and that will help you remove these markings with no problem so awesome there we go that makes me happy that uh you know not necessarily have to repaint any of the body or anything or redo the chevrons and so forth like that so that's perfect makes me a happy man anyways thank you guys for checking out the kit basher portion of this make sure to go over and get yourself one of these amazing beautiful models from iconic replicas and we will catch you guys on the next video hopefully we'll have some pictures and different things set up of uh, one of these kit bash soon but uh this will be my last video here i'm heading out on holidays to mexico so i'm looking forward to it and we will catch you guys all when i am back from mexico see you later